Welcome guys to the fourth tutorial of Atmega 16 and this is Gokan from lifelearnings.com. In this tutorial I will discuss the delay functions in Micro C Pro for AVR and we will create a for loop for our program. So let's move to the compiler of Atmega 16. So in the last tutorial I showed you how you can write the value to a port and how to define the direction of a port as an output with a DDRX resistor. So first I will show you how you can toggle the port pins in this tutorial. For that first you have to declare the direction of the port B for an output and first I will write a value 00, 0 and then to toggle the entire port I will write port B is equal to 0xFF. To observe the change in port status we must provide a delay. So we have a delay function delay underscore ms for milliseconds. So if I type 1000 milliseconds then the delay will be for one second so again I need a delay for 1000 milliseconds actually it will be very clear if we put commands to every line of the program so to write the commands you have to put to forward slash then you can write your command like you can also write the command to other line of the program so in this way if you write or if you put the commands to every line of the code it will be easy to understand for you in the future so let's first compile the program go to build and click on build or you can press the control f9 the program is compiled successfully hex file is generated so go to the proteus side and i have this simulation package already on the screen double click on it and make sure all the settings are perfect program file is assigned clock fuse set to external crystal high frequency and clock frequency is set to 16 megahertz everything is ok click on ok now run the simulation by clicking on this play button and you will see 0 and then this ff state on the port b and you will see these all pins are 0 and after one second these all pins are high at the same time so this is the toggling of a port only one time Suppose I want to toggle the port B for 5 times then how I can do this? Let's do this with the for loop. Now what we need we have to move these all instructions under the for loop. So first I will cut these all instructions and then I will create a for loop. So to create a for loop type for then these two round brackets. First the initial condition. In the initial condition we will initialize a variable to 0. Suppose I am using q is equal to 0. Then the condition is q less than 5 and q plus plus. So I will paste all those instructions under the for loop. Now let's compile the program. Go to build and click on build. And we are getting this error undeclare identifier q in the expression. Now this error is because of this q we have to declare that variable so this q variable must be declared before using it in anywhere so i will declare this q variable outside the main function i will declare the q as a character and type character then space and q then semicolon now the q is declared as a character let's again compile it now the project is successfully compiled and uh, let's move to the simulation side so just simply run the simulation, click on this play button and you will see this low then high one time, then low and high second time, low and high third time, low and high fourth time and this low and high fifth time. And after that the program will stop there and the port B will maintain the last status of the pins. So guys in this way you can configure the direction of a port as an output and by using this for loop you can execute the instructions under the for body for a number of times. We have one more function to provide a delay of microseconds and the function is delay underscore us for microseconds and 1000 microseconds is equal to 1 millisecond so you can use these two functions as per your requirement so guys you can try with the other available ports of the atmega 16 if you want to use port a then change this ddr b to ddr a and port b to port a so in the next tutorial we will discuss more about the programming of atmega 16 so stay in contact thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel